we're celebrating a fun milestone for Kylie Minogue. Her version of the locomotion turns 35 this year. So turn up the volume, slip on your leg warmers and swing your hips as we honour the song that catapulted Kylie to superstardom. You want me? That's right. <laughs> It was 1987 and everybody was doing a brand new dance when Kylie Minogue donned big gold hoop earrings and put her own spin on a classic hit. Everybody do a brand new dance now. Oh, baby, do a brand new dance. Kylie's cover of The Locomotion was the highest selling Australian single of the 80s. The song was written by Jerry Goffin and Carol King and has been a hit for many artists dating back to 1962 when their babysitter, Little Eva, had a hit with it. It was actually the song that helped Kylie catch the attention of the late, great Michael Gadinsky. Kylie's tired. Terry and I are. Let's party. Thank no, you, everyone. No, I'm not that tired. Yeah. The Mushroom Records boss penned a letter to launch Kylie's singing career, writing, I think she's got something. Might be worth taking a punt on her. Come on, baby. Consequently, upon Gadinsky's shock death last year, Kylie performed the track with Ed Sheeran to honour the music industry legend at his memorial. <laughs> Decades earlier, in one of her most memorable performances of the track, Kylie belted out the locomotion on a pink convertible at the Royal Bicentennial Concert in 1988. <laughs> That very performance was in front of Princess Diana and Prince Charles. When I came off, I just wanted to scream. It was so adrenaline pumping. It was so fun. And how was it meeting the Prince and Princess? It was good, but it was still people. And um, had a bit of a chat to Chuck and uh, uh, told him I was in neighbours. <laughs> Do you know what it was? No, he, no. Said, he, he said he'd try and watch it. And it's remarkable to look at how much Kylie's live performances of the song have transformed when comparing 80s clips to her singing at the iTunes Festival in London in 2014. After its Australian release, the song was reproduced in 1988 with the hit factories Stock, Aitken and Waterman and hit number two in the UK. Here she comes, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. With locomotion. The song was also her biggest hit in the US, peaking at number three, and was number one in Finland, Ireland, Israel, Japan, South Africa, and Belgium. I am amazed coming back from overseas because I've been away for a few months. I'll say six months ago or eight months ago, there was no dance music on the radio whatsoever, and. Now there is there's a whole lot. This is Kylie performing the track live on huge television station VTM in Belgium in 1988. Kylie was just 19 when she recorded the locomotion while taking a break from her day job as Charlene on Neighbours. Hey! This was her very first episode in 1986. Oh. Charlene, what on earth do you think you're doing? I was trying to get in and he jumped me. As we know, Kylie left Neighbours and went on to become one of the world's greatest pop icons. And she'll always be thankful for the song that broke her. I think I've been very fortunate that I've been accepted in many different phases. Please welcome Kylie Minogue. Well, Even re-releasing the track again on her The Abbey Road Sessions album in 2012 with a jazzed up style. And of course the star performs the locomotion live on tour to this day and we think it's shining brighter than ever.
happy 35th birthday to Kylie Minogue's The Locomotion.